You know, we are getting a lot of questions the past year plus on GLP weight loss drugs. I think we all know some of those names, semi-glutide, Ozempic, Wagovi. And really and truly, why are they so popular? One is because people have always been hungry for an easier method to lose weight. I've always spoke and said in 45 years of listening to so many clients and customers come to Nutrition World, the number one question over those four and a half decades, at least in parts of the year, is I need to lose weight. So it's frustrating, there's no doubt, and we are in an era of growing obesity, growing problems with weight control, which creates growing diseases and less health. So the drug companies have came out or actually repurposed a drug called GLP, glucagon-like peptide. It's a hormone-like substance that when injected, and maybe in pills, but still the injections seem to be the most popular, uh, several things happen. One is you have more satiety. That means you can eat foods and feel full quicker. Secondly is you have a slower transit time. So the food actually sits there longer. Thirdly, it's, it's mimicking the hormone effects of, of raising insulin, lowering blood sugar, which is very important for helping people to lose weight and balance some unhealthy blood sugar levels. And with that, people are losing weight. There's no doubt. But what's the good and the bad and the ugly of this drug? Because first off, do they work? They do work. But keep in mind, everything, when you artificially hijack the body and its mechanisms of action, there will be a payday. Sometimes it's less and sometimes it's more. I live my life on a personal level of weighing risk against benefit of almost everything I do. The supplements, the exercise, the you name it, uh, if I have to use the drug, it's all about risk and benefit. So the benefits of these drugs are usually within 12 weeks, people see modestly to substantial weight loss. Well, that sounds wonderful, but really in the long run, what are we talking about? Because there are potential risks. One is which I have heard several people who have been on the drug who had to come off due to gastroparesis. What is that? That is a condition where Normally, there's something in your brain that tells your colon it's time to go to the bathroom. With gastroparesis, that message is short-circuited. That phone call doesn't come through every day. And I have lost count of the amount of women uh, who not, all, not always do this drug, but due to other reasons, they go to the bathroom every two weeks, one time. As we know, that would be terribly toxic to any human body or any animal that's living. So... This is scary stuff. And when you look at the research on GLP drugs, one is they're about $1,000 a month. Two is when you look at the amount of weight that is lost, and usually it's about 20 pounds in most people, unless they're extremely overweight, and then there's usually more, we see that you're losing more muscle than we do fat. That's not a good scenario. And actually, there have been 25 anti-obesity drugs that's been removed from the market from 1964 to 2004. And that means that all 25 of these drugs came out with a hurrah and a parade similar to uh, GLP drugs. All of them have been removed because of risk and because of dangers and because of deaths. Now, I do believe this is a probably a more pure drug that has maybe more information. But the problem is, when you look at it, 50% of all people on these drugs who are paying 1000 a month are stopping after 12 weeks. Why is that? The multiplicity of how they are not comfortable with the drug. Second, if you ever have listened to me over 45 years, I am so connected and focused on balancing the human body's physiology, balancing it in a way where it runs its own thermostat. You have a thermostat on your house, you turn it to a certain degree, well, it knows enough to keep it exactly where it needs to be to have comfort. Your body does this very well at 20 years old. And as we do things to cause a created imbalance, all of a sudden that thermostat is just not quite keeping it at the right place and that has to do with hormones and nutrition and inflammation and, and, and. 
Through my 45 years, I have witnessed the downside of drug therapy is they're wonderful at first, and then the body's thermostat gets uh, unable to maintain itself through the hijacking of pharmaceuticals. Psychiatrics, anti-inflammatories, steroids for men in bodybuilding, all of these things are awesome at first. Yeah, we got it figured out. The problem is the body is going to finally give up, and that's what it's doing also after one year with GLP drugs, the weight loss plateaus. Every single study shows this. What happens? You go off the drug, you gain back about 80% of what you lost. And let's see, if you want it for a year, that's $12,000. And just out of curiosity, I checked other countries' price of this drug. The average price in other countries is between $90 and $130. But in this country, you're going to pay a thousand. And even with insurance paying, about 50% of the people are stopping it. So this is telling you something. See the writing on the wall. Now, I know there is a place for this drug in people who have horrible imbalances with insulin, terribly obese, with a risk of being overweight, could be their killer. This gives them a head start. And I think going to a professional who really knows how to manage that is imperative. Not someone who's like, this is your solution. It's not because the underlying reasons were never addressed. And what are those? Well, we could talk all day long about what helps people to lose weight. But along with, I want to mention that when you're on these drugs, you are going to have, if you're very in, wise about it, you want to balance the uh, 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 nutraceutical impact of using a few things to help the gut to be healthier, help the elimination to be what it needs to be. And then when you get off of it, it's even more important to reestablish this. And during this process, whether you're on the drug or you're not, the biggest downside is not following my rule of one gram of protein per pound of body weight. I weigh 181 pounds. I shoot for about 160 to 180 grams per day. That takes two protein drinks for me. You cannot do it with food alone. What that will do is if you're on the drug, it's going to help you to maintain muscle while you're losing body fat so that you don't lose muscle as much. When you're off the drug, this amount of protein helps lower the carbohydrates because your belly can only hold so much. That means that all of these mechanisms like the insulin will work better. I prefer whey protein, but we have plenty of other ones that are available. Now, what is the support plan for people on or getting off of GLP drugs? Well, we have a great gentleman, Dr. Kurt Deering, who's a clinical pharmacist who has studied this topic in, uh, much, and he's actually used to prescribe it to some of his patients who were in dire need of that. He's available for information and consultations. That's one whether you're daring or after. Two, there's a company called Vital Planet. Brenda Watson, who is a hero in the field of gut health, she'd been on PBS for, I know, a decade or more back in the day, educating people about what does it take to have healthy gut uh, flora, uh, uh, all the components where the gut produces a lot of your hormones. It produces your brain chemistry. It produces your immune system. In this country, because of glyphosate, chlorine, drugs, antibiotics, we just don't have it. So Brenda Watson has the company, and I have dealt with her trainer, who is fantastic, Laura. And we talked the other day, and she told me the three things that they recommend. I add one more onto that. But there's a product called Vitalax. There's no one in this country who seems to be getting enough fiber. And psyllium is not the best answer. This is a mixture of the fibers all the way from the flax and the pea and the hemp. These are not addictive fibers and they don't cause gas. So using those two to four, uh, uh, a one scoop at p.m. and before bed or at supper is extremely important. Secondly, the slowed intestinal tract, Vitalax, which is made not from senna. Always look at anything that you're taking to help maintain regularity. Do not do senna. And Vitalax is two pills up to four in the p.m amazing product. And then lastly is their 65 billion probiotic. This is an amazing company, amazing ethics, and this formula 
have been shown to create the uh, rebalance milieu, which is the basic integrity of the gut. After one round of this, uh, people who have used antibiotics and without these good bacteria, so the, the gut becomes very weakened. So this is simply one capsule in the evening. And then a lot of research is coming out about a probiotic called Anchromancia. We still have a lot to learn about it. But what this is, is actually helps the GLP hormone to be more active. In a very good clinical study, it showed that this alone, in about eight weeks, people lost five pounds doing nothing else. So keep in mind, there are options. The biggest options to me, you got to exercise regularly by having a plan of action. Secondly, is when you're weighing the risk and the benefit of any weight loss product, just keep in mind the goal is not to buy a skinny casket. So just losing weight itself is not the wise choice because will it stay off? Did I lose muscle? Did it hurt my gut? And what's going to happen in 18 months, not in eight months? So ask yourself these questions. If you feel the risk and benefit way out, find a good health professional who is cares about your body and use it with wisdom. If not, then let's talk about it other ways and other plans because you can do it other methods. We know you can because millions have done it. And I see people all the time are doing it. So we're here to help you on your journey to not only health, but to proper weight, which then equates to optimal health. We're here to help you at Nutrition World. Thank you.